Hey everyone, today I'm going to take a texture and apply it to 3D text in DaVinci Resolve. It's a really quick effect and can really make your 3D text pop in your scene. And 3D text can be used in a lot of different ways. I'll link some of the videos where I'm using 3D text into the description of this video. And you can get some ideas on how to use 3D text in your scenes. But let's jump right into adding textures to 3D text in DaVinci Resolve. So I'm in the edit page and I'm going to grab a fusion composition and drag it onto the timeline. With that clip selected, if I hit control D, I can select a duration. I'm gonna go up to 15 seconds and change that and jump right into the fusion page. And to build out my 3D text, I need a few items. 3D text node, of course. I'm gonna need a merge 3D node. I'm gonna want a light camera and a render node. Let's connect all this together. Everything gets piped through this 3D merge node and then out to the render 3D node. Then we can go out to our media out. And so text, nothing's here yet. Let's type something in. Let's call this resolve 17. I'll put my merge on the left side. Since our camera is so close, we don't see anything yet. And actually what I like to do is go to the camera, transform tools, a little bit faster to do that. Let's zoom out of this 3D using my wheel, using the Alt key, I can rotate that. And so I wanna bring up my camera a little bit here, kind of turn the view down so I can see some 3D. Kind of look over top of that, that's pretty good. So with the text selected, the text node, I wanna to go to extrusion depth and build that out a little bit. I'm gonna keep it pretty sharp, but I do wanna add some subdivisions to make the edges a little bit smoother. And so you can see there's some depth there, even though this is white. Let's go ahead and change the lighting. So we have some lighting in this scene. With the spotlight selected, I'm going to bring that back a bit, make that angle a little bit more, and I'll add some decay to that to make it a little bit more realistic. Let's bring this intensity up. That looks pretty good. So we see the front, it's lit, and then the edges are a little bit dark. So that's a pretty well lit scene with just one light. Um, I'm not going to take the time to add a three point lighting system to this. So we have basic text now, but it's really simple. And let's go ahead and spice that up. I'm gonna hit shift space bar and I will start typing in replace. I want this replace material 3D node added in there. Now anything I add to this green connector, which is the material input, is going to replace that white texture with an image. So I have some sample images. Let's go ahead and try this sand here. that into the replace material. Now you can see there's a sand on there. And going to that replace material, I'm gonna to wanna to change that specular. Just turn that down to zero, and then we get rid of all that reflection. If you have a metal that you're using, obviously you wanna keep that intensity up. But for something like a ground material, you shouldn't have any specular for that. So we can see how easy that is to add some really cool materials. So that makes it look kind of like a cracked earth. Let's zoom this up a bit so you can see it. And let's try a different one. This time I'll try this brick, kind of this stone look here. Oops. So again, that's a pretty good effect. It doesn't have any bump in there, but it's a quick and dirty effect. I'll have to do a different video where I show you how to put bump in these. But for creating some text and just applying a simple texture, it just makes a big difference in your scene. So I mentioned earlier about finding some of these textures online, and one of the great places to get those is pexels.com. And if you look at the images that they have available, which are completely free and you can use them for commercial projects as well. In the search bar, I'm gonna search for texture. And there's all kinds of different textures. 
really just want to look for something that's very consistent. This one would be a little tougher because you start seeing those repeating items. Obviously, anything like that is fantastic. Wood's going to work great. Jeans. Uh, this, this is very consistent. All these are going to work really well. So that's one really great source. Pixabay is another one of my favorites. And there's plenty of great textures on there as well. The links for these sites are in the description of the video to help you out. This is the basic idea. So as I leave you, I'll show you a few different textures I added to 3D text and I'll leave you with that. Thanks a lot for watching today. I appreciate your time. Take care, everybody.